Hello and welcome to all my Floss Tube neighbors. I'm Chris and this is Chris Cross Stitch and today is Tuesday, April the 30th, 2024. And this is Floss Tube number, I have no idea. I'm sorry, I have no idea what Floss Tube this is. <laughs> I should have looked beforehand. If you are um, new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here. This is a channel primarily about cross stitching, although today there's going to be zip zero zilch cross stitching to show you. But my channel is about cross stitching, and if you go through my library of videos, you will see a lot of that. If you are a returning neighbor, welcome. I'm so happy to have you back spending some time out of your day with me, and I apologize for my absence. I have, today's video is is a check-in video, merely that, um, just to let you know what's been going on and how I'm doing and to, to tell you that I've not been stitching and I'm not sure when my next video will be, but now that I got back into the swing of things with my Floss Tube channel, I did not want to be gone for too terribly long without popping in and saying hello to all of you. Um, I have a few thank yous from some lovely gifts that neighbors have sent to me over the past month. And just mostly I wanted to check in with you and let you know how I was doing and to find out how you're doing. So yes, that will be the, the sum total of today's video. If you if you if you're here from so so the do ba do ba do ba do ba 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 da da if you're here for the stitching there's not gonna be any I'm sorry I'm gonna transition now so after my video my Paris recap video I did stitch a little bit I I'm already going back on my word hold on one second I I I, I realized I had stitched something. I'll be right back. Um, I did work on Four Calling Birds. This is Satsuma Street's Four Calling Birds. It's part of the um, ornament, uh, the, the 12 Days of Christmas ornament series. This is the most recent one. Five Golden Rings should be this year, I would assume. This is not finished. <laughs> There is so, it's adorable, but it's not finished. Um, there is so much stitching in this little ornament. By far, this is the most stitching on any of the Satsuma Street ornaments that I've done. Um, I can't even, I, I have not picked this up in weeks. I don't exactly know what I have to fit. Oh, I ran out of a color, surprisingly. Even though this was a kit, I ran out of one of the colors. I've got to go in and fill in. Anyway, it's not finished, but I have stitched, and isn't that great? It's going to be so cute when it's done. Kind of goes with the whole color scheme today, doesn't it? And look, listen, you see these two blotches there? I just got back from a haircut, obviously, and the the hair, it when it falls down on your face, and I, like, start fiddling around, I have very sensitive skin, you know, and it, I get, I, I go, I go red, Everywhere that hair was, I could just go red. So please excuse me. I, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I don't have impetigo or anything like that. My grandmother used to always be afraid. Christopher, don't pick at that mosquito bite. You'll get impetigo. I didn't know what that was for years and years and years. But by jingo, I didn't pick at any mosquito bites because I didn't want to get impetigo. Um, <laughs> which you really shouldn't because it is a bad thing. Um, uh, Four Calling Birds. So that's the only stitching that I have to show you this video. I'm going to finish it. Today is going to be very tangential. I can just, I can just tell you because I, this morning I, I said to myself, you are going to sit down this afternoon after you get your hair cut because you'll be all put together and you're going to check in with those lovely people and you're going to tell them how you're doing. So this is the check-in, but I have no notes. I have no outline. I'm just flying from the seat of my pants here. Um, after we got back from Paris and I recorded that video, we had um, a huge snowstorm. We had a nor'easter. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the one that brought down the trees. I'm talking about a nor'easter. And it dumped about 12 inches of snow. The official count at Concord Airport was nine inches of snow, but we're but 
behind my house. There was at least a foot, if not a little bit more. And uh, it was something else, let me tell you. We luckily didn't lose power for very long. Um, and we have a wood burning stove, so we were able to stay warm, but it was something to have a big snowstorm the first weekend of April, of all things. But we got through it and it melted very quickly and now we are fully into spring. And we have been here officially just over a year now. Um, we have completed our anniversary of our arrival here. Uh, April 22nd of 2023 was the first day I set foot in this house. And we are now, oh, my stomach's growling. And we've now been here a year. Couldn't love it more. Could not love it more. The people, the place, everything. You guys, you you were probably already sick of hearing me talk about how much I love my new home, but but we do. And it's, uh, it, 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 we are so grateful. And, uh, and it just keeps getting better. So now everything is blooming. We have a beautiful magnolia tree in the backyard that blooms white during the spring, but that snowstorm shocked it. So the blooms, um, it's still alive. It's, it's, it's just today started putting out tons of green leaves, but the blooms that were about to burst when the snowstorm hit, they've browned. So they bloomed and they bloomed tan. <laughs> um, and it's all the, that same magnolia in our neighborhood. I see every single one of them is like that. So I'm glad it's not just mine. Um, but anyway, uh, spring is here. It has sprung and, and all is well in the neighborhood. Um, I've not done any stitching other than what you just saw. Because we are, there's, we've got a couple of big projects that we're doing here at the house. Not big, not like remodeling or knocking down walls or anything like that. But we're going to put a new deck on the side of the house um, for a uh, spa. And uh, that is taking up a lot of my time, the coordination of that. And just, you know, the the planning of anything of that, you know, magnitude will will occupy your thoughts and, you know, just day-to-day -day life and, and, and what have you. I've just lost the stitchy bug a little bit with the advent of spring. I think, I think, and I think it's a common thing. Many of you, after I posted my comment saying, I, I'm just, I haven't stitched. And many of you wrote on the comments and you told me that you too have lost your stitchy bug just a little bit. I think it's normal. I think, you know, after the winter time, we, we're, we, you know, we come out of hibernation. The earth comes out of hibernation. The animals come out of hibernation. And so do we. So do our thoughts and our, and our, our intentions. So we're focused on planting and gardening now and waking up, you know, that, those things. Airing the house, spring cleaning. I just did a whole week of spring cleaning here. Um, you know, scrubbing floors and scrubbing cabinets and the whole nine yards. So it's normal. And I'm, I make no apologies for not having stitched. Um, I only apologize for not checking in sooner. But that's all that's going on. Everything is 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 great. I I do intend to get back to stitching. I just don't know when that will be, and I don't know when my next video will will be after this particular one. I want to try. Um, to really get back into the swing of stitching though by mid to late May because I'm going to StitchCon, right? Weekend B, the second weekend of StitchCon. I'm so excited about it. And um, I really want to be ramped up for that uh, before I go. So you can probably expect to see me again after this in, you know, in about three maybe another month, probably not two weeks like I normally do, but maybe at the end of, most likely at the end, at the end of May. I have three thank yous to, to send out just because I wanted to, these are, these all three are special things and I really wanted to, first of all, it, many of you, I've gotten some cards from people, um, Thank you. You know, as I say, I never expect to receive anything, but I certainly love it when I do. But our neighbor, David, sent me a copy of Just Cross Stitch magazine. This is, um, this is September, October of 20... 
This shows my age on my eyes. So. 2013. This is 10 years old. But he found this and he um, he thought I would like it. And uh, David, I, I do like it. Thank you so much. It's going to go into my file. And um, there are some really cute things. This scarecrow. I want to stitch that scarecrow. Isn't he great? That's awesome. Thank you so much, David. I really do appreciate that. Um, our neighbor Jane, sweet Jane, my dear friend Jane, she's uh, she did some stitch and pass it along. She sent me some uh, a pattern by Modern Folk Embroidery, a beautiful dream of a winter garden pattern, and these um, Mill Hill Santas that she stitched. Uh, and um, I can't wait to, again, she, she you know, th this is a past the stash. Um, she stitched these and she had, she sent me the, the leftover beads and the charts and I'm going to get my own perforated paper and stitch these up. So thank you, Jane, for that. I appreciate that so much. And so sweet, our Canadian neighbor, uh, Joanna, sent me this, ador she knows I love cats. She sent me this adorable card. Look at that kitty cat. Just beautiful. And oh, all this beauty, beauty, project pack. A, uh, this is, you know, uh, felt um, a thread, thread minder. You know, when you're for your whatever you want to use. But look, look, <laughs> these are great. I love these so much. Oh, um, this all coordinates. It's it's just remarkable. And then uh, a larger one of these, right? Which also, in a pinch, I guess, could be a, a it could be a cravat. Um, I had too much coffee today. Joanna, thank you so much. I, I just, these are right up my alley. It's it's a little bit kooky and very colorful and very fun and whimsical. I just, I could not love it more. Thank you all for those things. They, you, you know, you, you neighbors brighten my day in so many ways. Um, not just the ones that send me gifts, but all of you who write me and, and leave comments and talk to me. And I do genuinely miss you when I'm not having our every other week check-ins. But, you know, we all have uh, lives and we all have things we have to tend to. And, and uh, I, think it's, I think it's good to have that balance. Um, it's good to pe be able to pay attention to your business when you have to pay attention to your business and your stitching when you need to pay attention to your stitching. So I'm going to cut it short. This is not going to be a very long video. I just wanted to, to, uh, tell you that we're taking an intermission, uh, that I will be back in full swing before too terribly long. It's a perfect way to begin season three, um, which will, you know, with any break of this size, whenever I get back to, res to, to every other week videos, it will be the official third season. Um, so it's all kind of worked out. But I did want to, as I said, stop in and say hello and let you all know that I'm absolutely fine, happy as a clam. And, uh, and I will be back with you probably in a, you know, three to four weeks time, hopefully with some stitching and to check in and give you another update. So until that time, have a great spring. Uh, enjoy your stitching, whatever it is you're stitching upon. And until then, take care and bye-bye.